Hi guys, welcome back for our second edition of our little workout challenge that you guys can do at home. A lot of uh, athletes, including figure skaters, are without training centers, without arenas, without community centers, and we're kind of stuck at home. So here we are in my basement. Mute's already getting started doing his yoga exercises, and we're going to do a little bit of a workout. So we're just going to start by loosening up our shoulders. We're going to be using our shoulders a lot today. So we're just going to twist opposite arm, opposite shoulder, opposite arm, opposite shoulder. If you're as stiff as me, you'll have just heard the cracking in your own back. Okay, let's come back to the center, loosen up. We're gonna do some little hinges where we're going to open our free side and close it, almost like we're opening a door and we're closing a door. So we're gonna start by standing on our left foot. We're going to hinge forward square. So the point is not to lift your leg really high in the air. Your hip should be square, therefore your leg should not lift as high. As we come down square, we're going to open up our right shoulder and our right hip at the exact same time and close it. And we're going to try to stay stable in our standing foot and try to do this 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up to the center and down. Now if you couldn't stay stable for ten, that's perfectly normal. I used to do this little challenge at the gym where we would see how long we could do this exercise without losing our balance. And you know when I started I could do five or six and now it's a little bit easier to do ten. So we're going to switch sides, stand on our right foot, hinge the body forward, Shoulders and hips are square, and we're just gonna open up that left side. And again, for 10. We'll try to keep our standing foot, our right foot, rooted into the ground like a tree. So it's, you know, we're using our foot to give us that balance. Three, four, five. Zara likes it. I clearly live in a zoo. All the animals will make their way down. <laughs> Two more. And up. You should feel this kind of burning in your standing leg, up your hamstring and into your glute, and even in your ankle, because you're using your foot to stabilize. You could see I was off balance and I was using my foot to find my center. So if you got four or five without falling over on the last one, we're going to do a second set and let's try to improve what you did. If you made it to 10, we're just going to repeat 10 again. Standing on the left side. Hinge forward. One. Two. Three. Four. And we're trying to go nice and slow. We're not in a rush here. Open, stabilize, close, stabilize. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up, shake it off a little bit. We're gonna try one last one. When you do this bare feet instead of in your running shoes, you have that mobility in your foot and you can use it a little bit more. So it's more helpful to us. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. That was awesome. Don't worry if you weren't able to get ten straight in a row without losing your balance. It's taken me years of practice. We're going to move on to a little bit of a bear crawl. We're going to get down on our hands and knees. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. And we're going to rise, raise our knees ever so slightly, maybe one and a half inches. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shuffle up and down our mat five times. 
We're gonna move opposite arm, opposite leg. Small movements forward. And back. We're trying to keep our back flat like you could eat a bowl of cereal and it wouldn't spill. And it's just a shuffle. We don't wanna take ginormous steps. We just wanna slide, slide, slide. And that's two. Three. As you get tired, you'll notice your knees. Let's do one more up and down the mat. Your knees will start to rise up a little bit. Try to keep them nice and low. And down on our knees. We're gonna do another set of that. I want you guys to focus on keeping yourself in a moving box. You'll see that my arms, my up my chest, my legs and the mat creates a box and I'm trying to move within that box. It's very difficult to do, but that's that's our goal. So we're going to do another set of five up and down the mat. Knees are slightly off. Let's try to keep them stable and not bouncing around while we do this. That was one. You'll see it's very slow motions. Again, we're not in a rush. Two. Four, one more time. That was a little bit too big of a step. And down. Let's shake out those wrists and those shoulders because we're going to move into a plank series. We're going to need our upper back and our shoulders to be very strong. For this plank series, slightly different than the last video, we're going to hold each plank for 30 seconds. So we're gonna start in a front plank, front to the center. After 30 seconds, we're gonna to move to one side. We're gonna come back to the center. We're going to move to the other side and back to the center again. 30 seconds in each position. It will be a total of two and a half minutes. I'm just gonna move this so I'm gonna be on a better angle for you guys to see. Okay, here we go. Again, holding these poses for a long period of time give you a chance to visualize, maybe goal set, maybe there's something that you want to accomplish once you're able to get back into training on a regular basis. This is the time to visualize those double axles or visualize the new spin you want to learn. We're gonna stay here for 30 seconds. And we're going to switch to one side. As we switch over, we're trying to keep our hips stacked. Your arm is creating one line all the way down to your elbow. I'm just making sure that our hips are not drooping down. They're staying pressed up. You can look in front of you. You can look down. You can look up. Looking up is a bigger challenge. Again, staying in this position for 30 seconds. We're gonna come back down through the center. Just like the last video, the closer we bring our legs in this front plank, the more difficult. If they're wider, it's a little bit more easy. I like to keep mine hip distance. We're gonna to come to the other side. Stack those feet on top of each other. Squeeze your glutes. Arm is long and again, creating one line. We don't want it back and then we're gonna be opening and we don't want it hunched forward either. To the best of our ability. We're 
We're almost done, guys. Just one more front plank after this. I'm shaking, I'm sure you guys are shaking. Let's come back to the front. 30 seconds left, almost there. Couple deep breaths left. And let's come down on our knees and up. Okay, let's take a little break. If you guys have a water bottle, have some water, and we're going to go over the next exercise. As you guys are taking a little bit of a break, I will go over the next exercise with you guys. I'm just going to turn this mat again just a little bit. The next exercise is going to be a combination of two uh, two different exercises and we're going to go from one to the other back to the first one and back to the second one again the first exercise is going to be 10 tuck jumps so we're going to bend keep our feet and our knees hip distance apart we're going to bend jump and tuck our knees up we're going to use our arms and we're going to do 10 of those in a row right after that we're going to come down on our mat we're going to do a little core stimulation we're going to hold our arms like we're holding a, a beach ball at the gym or at the beach sorry we're leaning forward. As we straighten our legs, we're gonna bring our hands like we're removing a hat off of our head. And then we're gonna circle back around to our beach ball motion. We're gonna remove the hat and circle back around. So we're gonna do 10 tuck jumps, 10 balls to stretches, 10 tuck jumps, 10 balls to stretches. Okay, so we're gonna combine all of that together. You can have a break at the end of that. Okay, so let's start with those 10 tuck jumps using our arms. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll come to the mat. Hold that beach ball and open. One, two, Nine, ten, and let's come back up for those tuck jumps. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna go back down. Let's get into our ball, remove the hat, stretch out, and up. Two, three, two more, last one, and up. Amazing job, we're on our last exercise. You guys can catch your breath. I'm gonna move this one one more time. This last exercise, we're going to go from a downward dog, like we're doing a flow. We're gonna stop, do a push up, and back to our downward dog. So here's a little demonstration. We're in our downward dog. We're gonna come forward, down, up, back to the downward dog. We're going to do 12 of those. This is it. Let's push ourselves for this final set. Downward facing dog and let's go forward, push up, back, forward, push up, and push those heels down as you get back. Get a little bit of a calf stretch. Three, four, five, halfway there guys, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay sharp in this push up. Eleven, twelve. Whew. Well, 
that's it for this week's workout. Take your time, stretch. If you guys want more, go back in this video, start over again. Do it two, three times. And that could give you cardio, stimulate the core, stimulate your stability. We're gonna see you guys next time for another workout. Have fun.